Hello, my dears! <laughs> Welcome back. Welcome back to Let's Play Blasphemous. Welcome back to Where the Olive Trees Sadly Doth Wither. Oh, I can't talk to my friend. What a shame. We got to him a bit too late. I'm afraid, ladies and gents. Oh, well. It's not that enormous a uh, an issue. I'm sure you can go and... Um, see the gentleman on uh, a couple of other Let's Plays around here on the, the tubes of you. It's a shame, though. I would have liked to have spoken to him. Um, where are we going? I'm not wrong, am I? It did say that there's a way through here. Oh, that's... that's interesting. That's very interesting. Hmm. I wonder how I get down there. I do wonder. Ah, something went splat. Lots of things went splat. Ah, probably some of my favourite music in the game around here. And I love the concept. the The name of where the olive trees wither is beautiful. Ugh. Vile wretches that these things are. Oh, got it in one. Good. Oh, hello. Yes. Yes. Oh. Delicious. I think there's another... Yes, I thought there might be another one. I hate these guys. I really do. Ow. There you go. Burn, you bastard. Aha! They're actually really tough as well. They take a lot of hits. Ow. Ugh. Lots of messy enemies around here. Oh yeah, that's where we died, isn't it? Ah, oh, thank you! Jesus. How did he hit me from all the way down there? That was a good arc. You've got to give him that. Ow! <clears throat> oh yeah, this is definitely one of those Dark Souls combinations of enemies. It's really nasty, this. Lead him over here. Deal with him first. There we go. And then with these guys. Ooh. Close. Not quite, though. Ah! There we are. Using a few too many bile flasks here, that's for damn sure. Gotcha. And we got our guilt fragment back. Yay! Ugh. Yeah, those things really are quite repulsive, aren't they? What have we here, then? Remains of Tentudia's hair. Ah! Remains of the thorned hairs of the novice Tentudia that were isolated from the rest so she could receive a holy burial. Tentudia spent several years in that nunnery, and as she grew up it became harder and harder to hide her hair. It wouldn't stop twisting and growing thorns, and the blood from the wounds it caused her did not take long to stain her pure white habit. The nuns, upon realising, were frightened by it, and soon began considering her cursed and a heretic, just as the parents of the girl had feared would happen. Hmm... Interesting. We nearly have... I'm sure we must have almost all of the items for um, Altus Gracias now. So we will go and have a look. I would like to wake her up because she's very interesting.
I've just done everything out of whack. I, I, compared to how I did it the first time round, I've done everything out of order. This area, this is a son of a bitch. Hello. Ooh. Aha. Uh -huh. Hello. I, did, I didn't know this was here. Um... Ankle Bone of Weston the Pilgrim. All right. Uh, his travelling companion assured him that he would wait for him at the next shelter, just a day away. When Weston arrived the next day, there was no one there, nor the day after that. Oh, that's sad. They're either very funny or they're very melancholy. It's one or the other. Yay! Ah, now this could be useful. What hath we here? Stuff to buy. Now that is for Altus Gracius. I'm almost certain it is. What I am offering you here. Oh. My... Torn bridal ribbon. The soft white ribbon used during marriage ceremonies has been torn, thus destroying its delicate embroideries. One of the three remains of an unfinished ceremony. The wounds inflicted by a broken oath rarely find healing. Uh, yes, that's very useful. What's this one? What I am offering you. Yeah, blah, blah, blah. Uh, calcified Eye of Erudition, belonging to Alvaros the Scribe, who glimpsed the truth hidden to so many with other eyes. That's pretty good, too. You see the health of enemies, basically. This is a precious treasure mm. to me. Its value goes far beyond what I ask for it. I bet it does. And may I don don black? If I'm yes. Ember of the Holy Cremation. Ember crystallized through a long forgotten ritual. It retains some of the heat of a bonfire lit on a different land. Tempers the heart, increasing the defenses of whoever carries it. I can't buy it yet, but I will. Won't I? Oh. Let us be captives of the miracle, penitent one. Yeah, let's. Do not be surprised to find this merchant here. This ancient occupation requires me to be wherever I can obtain rewarding benefits. Does it oh, now? Candelaria, for what I sell would make your eyes light up like the high bonfires. I will not ask you for any money whatsoever. Those forbidden tears you shed would be more than enough for me. Go ahead. Cast your darkened eyes over these valuable treasures. Mm. Don't trust her as far as I could kick her. Graveyard of the Peaks. I think we've got almost... Hello. This is a shortcut to um, Albero, I believe. If I get up here and then up here... Not a rosary rope. Useful. Um, I've read the law for this. Number one. Yes, brother. It's been a long time since I stopped officiating nuptials. Since the day those three sisters embraced each other praying. Since the day they asked the miracle itself to help them to avoid such a holy bond. Not a rosary rope. Ingracia was her name. Her rosaries were the prettiest of all custodia. Uh, the most prestigious priests and bishops frequented her workshop, and even our very holiness Escribar commissioned her. Such was her mastery to the, that a rosary crafted by old Ingracia was unparalleled in beauty, delicacy, and perfection. Word spread that a rosary that was not made by her would not receive divine blessing, and prayers would not be heard, and besides, that would be a sin. This caused all the others to become banned by the Holy Mother Church, and those so called false rosaries were sought and burned. Someone who kept a deceitful rosary would be severely punished, sometimes even accused of heresy. Then we all began to wonder what would become of the rosaries when Ingracia was no longer with us. Yeah, that is sort of a problem, isn't it? Sort of a problem. Hello. The immaculate bit. This is what I was after. The Immaculate Bead. Yeah, I want this. Um, let's get rid of that, and I'll put this on. The Calcified Eye of Erudition. 
Uh, his body was immobilized, and amid cries of repentance, his skin began to turn whiter and whiter, whiter until it finally became limestone. As he was about to become a complete statue, in a final sigh, his tears softened one of his eyes that he managed to separate himself from the rest of the body by falling to the ground. Then we discreetly moved her rigid body of lime from her cell to the lower parts of the architectural, along with the other forbidden statues. I put a wide loom over her so that no one else would know that under her would sleep, punished by the miracle, the great scribe. I'm going to put that on because that's really useful. And I'm going to take that one off and I'm going to put on the immaculate bead. I have something for you and for you alone, revealed the gypsy to a monk who had just stopped his donkey as she uncovered a white stone possessing a strange beauty. It comes from the darkness of the ocean floor. Contemplate its purity. Look at its immaculate white, its virgin brilliance. What could be purer than this for your rosary, brother? It does nothing. Apparently. Ah! Yeah. Statues of Escrobar. But, because we have the bead that does nothing, these now appear when we destroy them. Oh. We do have it equipped, don't we? Oh, I know what I need to do. I need to soil it. What I need to do... I can't access those yet. What I need to do is wear it and die. A lot. And when I die... Certain things will happen. Certain things. Here we are in Alberto. Once again, I can get that now. <laughs> Hello. Uh, sure. This poor lass. Hmm. Many tears were shed in her blessed name. Were they? A thousand prayers do not clarify whether or not the grievous miracle. Is a manifestation of true holiness. Still, in our heart lieth no doubt that she was unjustly punished. Oh dear. Find the next remnants. The order blesses thee. Oh, that's nice to know. Tears of atonement. Lovely. Wonderful. Yep. The order blesses thee, penitent one in silence. He is very silent, isn't he? Doesn't talk much at all. Find the next remnants. The order blesses thee. Is that it? I don't think I've got any more. What are these little ones that seem to hide up in the ceilings amongst the ornaments of the altars? When I call them, they do not appear to pay me any mind. They are covered in ribbons that give the impression of fluttering in an invisible, imperceptible, constant wind. At times I hear them cry, and at times I hear them laugh. What are you, O creatures of divine? Grace. Pass. I don't know. I'm going to go give some stuff to the uh, the Kisses of Wounds here. Because I've got a lot for them. Yep. Merciful be, penitent one. With your contribution, the work of this brotherhood carries on. It does. Lovely. Yep. Merciful be penitent. Mm hmm. Lovely. I think I've got more to give you, actually. Yeah, it keeps going. Merciful be penitent one. Blah, 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 blah. The miracle is taking us away, one after the other. Could we avoid? Possibly. Possibly. I don't know. Um, right. What can we do? break up there. He fell right through the platform. Interesting. Let's just go and have a look at the Mea Culpa statue. Let's see what I can get. There's quite a lot open for us now. Uh, to use the cut of its blade to bless his own blood and turn it into a throwing weapon. Yeah, that's pretty good. Um, sacred Thrust. That one's good, but I can't get it yet. Mm, yeah, why not? Uh, sacred lunge and makes them even uh, making it f reach further. There we go. Oh, why not? 
let's go for it. Cool. We'll unlock it all eventually, so it really doesn't matter that much. I mean, I don't think we've got anything that needs blessing by the statue out here. So I think we can go back up now. And what, what we could do is die a lot. We could do that. Because if we die a lot, then... Um, then we can actually destroy... We can actually make use of these uh, statues of Escrivar. Oh, fuck. Ooh, I nearly thought I had then. Oh, well, we'll die enough anyway, so it doesn't really matter, to be honest. We certainly will out here. Bloody hell. Ah. Ah. This area is tough as balls. You see the wind? That affects the way you jump. It is closer now. The crying faces of ice announce the proximity of the convent. They presage the pain awaiting inside its walls. I ask the cold to be merciful and allow me to climb to the peaks where I'll be reborn as a sister of the golden visage. Maybe you will. Look, it's pushing me already. This, this is just some tough old platforming here. Oh, fuck. Ah, oh, got caught, damn it. Keep an eye on the background as well. The peaks are beautiful because there are all of these statues everywhere. Carved into the mountains themselves. I mean, it's absolutely beautiful. Just like um, Lordran and Lothric and uh, whatnot and Drang Laic, you really get a sense that... This is a world that's seen better days. It was once a more beautiful world. It was once a more enlightened and prosperous world, but has been brought low by something. Some... I don't know. Some disaster, some apocalypse, something happened here. I mean, you're not really privy to it, to be honest, in-game. It doesn't tell you what happened. You just know that there was some kind of disaster. In fact, there are probably a few. It probably wasn't just one. Mm. Oh, fuck. Gotcha. Oh, fuck. Right, so what we've got to do... This is tough. Wait for the wind to blow the other way. Like that. And then we can make it across. Ugh. So difficult. This is evil. This placement here, horrible. Absolutely horrible placement, that. I mean, deliberately so. It's not a mistake or anything. It's the way the enemy placement is. It's foul. <laughs> it's evil. And particularly so in this area that relies so much on platforming, I find. Oh, I can't use that against them, can I? Shit. Bollocks. Whoa! That was nasty. Could have done without... Ah, oh, the wind! Ah. Oh, well. That's actually not a problem. Because... Let me show you something that's happened. Because we died while wearing it, something is... Look, the pearl. It's now a bead marked by guilt, a bead that has absorbed the guilt of its bearer. It may be difficult to perceive the dark macula that twists inside, but the cold it gives to the touch leaves no room for doubt. Wearing it in your rosary prevents the accumulation of guilt in the world, at least while the bead retains part of its purity. Interesting, eh? And it'll do that a couple of times. It will absorb the guilt. And when it's fully saturated with guilt when it's wretched with guilt that's when it's really useful ah you know what if you can it's best just to avoid them things they're pains in the ass hmm 
Arr, big charge attack. Not that it's going to do much good against him, I just thought I'd show you it. Okay, wait for the wind. No, not yet. Not yet. Not yet. There. It's so evil. It's so evil, this area. I mean, funnily enough, this is a game mechanic that's been around for years. There's a level in Turrican 2 on the Amiga, which is a very old game that uses this exact mechanic. And I mean this exact mechanic. Um, level 2 in Turrican 2 on the Amiga does it. One of, the, you know, an old game. Oh, come on. I mean... Oh, fuck. Best thing you can do, lead it down here. Kill it down here, and then do your platforming. That is the best thing you can do at this point. Wait for the wind to die. Huh! Oh, bloody hell. No, not yet. What do we do? I can't quite remember what the technique is here. So, that appears. Then what? Oh, I haven't got the means. Shit. Oh well, let's get these then. Ah, okay, of Tequila. That's a great, yeah, great name. Uh, okay. Tequila was not your everyday metalsmith. Skulls were the basis of his creations, with jeweled skulls his specialty. His last wish was to become the most beautiful piece in his collection. Alright. If any luck, I'm sure he succeeded. Can I get that? I think I can, actually. I think I can. Hang on. I think the way to do it... Hang on. No, 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 no. Wait for the wind to come. That's it. That's how you do it. Oh, you are wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Yes, that's the way. That's brilliant. <laughs> God almighty. Jeez. I don't think I died as much anywhere in this game as I did here, you know, when I first played it through. And I didn't really know what I was doing. Look at this for an enemy placement. That is rancid. As is this, for that matter. Okay. Ah, oh, yes, we need to use the wind. Otherwise, we're going nowhere. There we are. I thought so. It seemed odd for that platform to be there. I thought there was something here. Hey, we're actually doing well with that as well. The amount of fervor we've got is pretty damn high, to be honest. Lots of areas we haven't explored, so we're going to have to uh, amend that. There's a whole other area up here, too, that we haven't explored yet. Believe it or not. Oh, this is... Look at this. What a son of a bitch, eh? Oh, just... Just... Oh. Evil. Total evil. Okay. 
No secrets? No. But we're getting high. We're getting really, really high up. Look. Okay. Okay. Woo! Oh, just. Leaps of faith. Piece of tombstone. Can't remember what that's for. Oh, it's a rosary thing. A uh, piece of a ceramic slab strangely found on the snowy peaks. Those from the village rarely left their arid lands to face the cold of the mountains, but this tombstone had undoubtedly belonged to someone from Albiro. The fragment confers resistance to falls, eliminating recovery time. That's pretty good. It is said that the Albiro graveyard is even older than Albiro itself. It was built even before the church was erected. It was a graveyard isolated from everything in this land. Uh, considered unholy. The church did not take long to find out about this and dug all the tombs up, scattering the remains across the fields. That's when the Brotherhood of the Genuine Sepulchre was founded, in charge of collecting the remains of the dead and giving them a second burial. I've kept this piece of clay tombstone since then. That's cool. I like that. Hey! Wait for it to die. There we go. Okay. Oh, big open area. That doesn't usually bode well. Lots of frozen bodies. Let's smash them. Because why not? Oh, look who it is. It's our friend. Indeed, sister of mine. Our encounter is approaching. You made it up here very well. I've got to say, climbing with that thing. That's the impressive. Will protect me. I did not need your protection this time. Yep, still Leave talking to his dead alive. sister. Ooh. Bit shirty, but alright. Oh! Throwing a temper tantrum. Fair enough. Oh, convent of Our Lady of the Charred Visage. This is the second area up in the peaks, and it's bloody hard. Do not let them hit you with that. It will hurt might Look at that. Just walking into it kills you. No. Really? Ah. Oh. Ah. Oh. oh, well. But look what it's done. Bead tainted by guilt. Bead that has absorbed the guilt of its bear on several occasions. In its nucleus there lies a black spiral, twisting and stirring in outbursts of wrath. Wearing it in your rosary prevents the accumulation of guilt in the world, at least while the, build re the bead retains part of its purity. It's. I think it's more or less there. I think I need to die once more. If I die once more, then the bead will become what it's supposed to be. Which is less a holy artifact than an unholy one. And it's how, believe it or not, that tiny little item is how you get the true ending of the game. It seems completely insignificant. It does nothing. You forget about it. You honestly just forget about it. You don't wear it in your rosary because it doesn't do anything. Um, you think, oh, well, there's well more, way more useful items. And then it turns out that it is the key to the true ending of the game. And yes, I know the shrine was just beyond that enemy that killed me. Of course it was. <laughs> but there's still plenty of this area to explore, so um, it's fine. There's actually quite a few areas that we missed, to be honest, like through there. Eh. 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 You're taking a lot of hits. Woo! Oh, God. I did nearly fall then. What's the wind doing? Totally the opposite of what we want. Ah, you missed! Oh, God almighty. Sorry for uh, the uh, quiet. I'm just... Uh, oh, fuck! Oh, fuck! 
I'm well I was going to say I'm concentrating <laughs> not hard enough apparently not hard enough no what I need to do hang on we need to time this there we go so how do we get through there then we need to come in from the other side so how do we do that Yeah, okay. Okay, so how do we do this? This is tough. I can no long I can bear it no longer. That sound, that ringing will follow me forever. No matter where I go, this is my sentence. It is to come cross towards the other side of this cursed dream. Okay. Ah, useful. Absolutely. We've got another one. My, oh my, we are doing well in that regard. Okay. Oh my god, really? Yeah, I think the only way to do these is to just hit them hard. Because they... They're just too tough to piddle about with, to be honest. Ouchie wow. There we go. Oh, Lassa the Inquisitor. Let's see. Unlike other Inquisitors, Lassa showed an unusual amount of indulgence towards the accused, even to the point of stopping executions. His weakness led him to excommunication and exile. Ah, That's a shame. You know, for an executioner, he sounds alright. Does he not? Hang on. Let's see what's down there before we do anything. You may have heard that. That's Rufus wanting to get in on the action. I'm afraid I can't allow her at the moment. Um, the muted bell. Hello. Oh, it's another rosary. Hang on. Uh, hang on. Let's have a look. Tin bell, now empty. Strangely, one could swear to hear a slight tinkling in the presence of strange en energies. Slightly protect its wearer from attacks of magical nature. When he entered that room full of paintings and statues, will be going there. He was surprised to find under a dirty sheet the marble figure of a man who seemed to offer him something. Something lustrous that he held in his cold stone hands caught his attention. A shapeless fruit the size of an apple, with a silvery glow and a delicious appearance. Hungry as he was, he took it, but when he tried to bite it, he had to hold back a yelp of pain, for the fruit turned out to be made of metal. Confused, he grabbed a nearby stone and smashed the fruit with all his might, managing to make a small crack in it, from which a dense reddish liquid poured. Without thinking it twice, he drank the liquid, which tasted salty like blood. How very odd. Cool imagery, though. That's to be said. Okay, this is gonna... This is gonna be a bitch. No! Yeah! Ah! Oh. Oh. Yes. Excommunicate. Yes. Definitely. Now, yeah, it's done. Bead completely tainted that has absorbed the sins of its wearer until completely filled. Encloses a storm of guilt and rumbles with the echoes of past mistakes. Statues of confessors used to carry beads like this, reaping guilt from repentant parishioners. Did they now? Because now, I can go to those statues and I can smash them and uh, we can do stuff. We can actually do stuff with it. Which is actually really useful. I'm going to go smash a couple of them now. This one's already smashed, but what I can do... I can use the portal now. And it takes you... to a challenge. Oh, this one's quite difficult, actually. Um... 
There we go. That's one part of it. I love the statue in the background. Isn't that beautiful? Oh, fuck. No, these two need to die. As a matter of some urgency. Not him. He's not too bad. Oh, yeah. Who's next? Oh, fuck! Oh, you need to be careful of them here, because they're going to knock you onto the spikes! Which is, of course, their purpose. me anyway, even though I leapt over her. That's annoying. Okay. Okay. That's an enemy we haven't encountered yet in-game. You'll see what she does. She, uh, she breathes fire. She's a pest. If you let her. Ha <laughs> ha Oh, lovely. Oh, no, 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 this is tough. This is horrible. This is absolutely horrible. Oh, no. No, she's killed me. No. Ah, I hate those enemies so much. I can't even tell you. I'm going to go do that again. I hate those enemies with the pot so much. I can't even tell you. They not only knock you flying, you don't even have to be hit by them. They, if you touch the pot, then you, you, you take, it counts as a hit, basically. Which I don't like. I've got to say, that's an element of the programming I don't necessarily like. Oh, that went well. Okay. Okay. Oh. Did he just kill himself by accident? Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. That's a, a wee bit of luck. No, the blue ones are definitely tougher than the red ones down in Hondo. Oh, yeah. Okay. Now, this dude first. Ah, oh, that's annoying. So you have to get them away from the wall in order to hurt them. Interesting. Oh, the bell rings when you hit them. That's cool. I like that. That is frustrating, gotta say. So it's the fleas next. You don't want to get caught by those fire breathers, believe me. They can kill you in a couple of breaths, if that. If that. Right, let's take out the ghost first. Because the ghost is the real threat here. I've got to figure out a way of taking these guys down. See, it's so difficult. I think this is the last wave, though, so... There we go. I think that's it. Or maybe not. Oh, yes. Excellent. There we go. That's the first challenge done. Tears of Atonement. Wonderful. Wonderful. 
And we've got to do all of them. Every single one throughout the world. Budding sprout. How interesting. Small gift from Dio Gracias, nailed into the effigy of the twisted under the guard of your sword. The thorns are risen from the miracle feed on sin and guilt, growing with the burden that its bearer carries. A Dios Gracias is farewell. Brother Abbot, you know that I have been a scribe in this abbey since I was but a wee child. I have written about our church, our saints, and our miracle of the greatest pain. I must inform you that I have made the decision to leave. Although I intend to continue writing, in these walls I cannot be a true witness of the works of the miracle. I need to appreciate with my own eyes your holy works. I will be a teller of the miracle wherever it takes me. Rain or shine or scorching sand under my bare feet cool eh right um since we spent a lot of time dying um i'm gonna call that one quits ladies and gents when we come back i'll have made my way back to the top but we'll we'll start at the entrance to the abbey i think rather than climbing the mountain again so until next time ladies and gents bye -bye. <laughs>